Good day everyone, my name is Mr. Omar Godwin and today in Base Science and Technology we'll be treating the topic Gymnastics. Um, I'm ready, if you're ready, let's get into it already. Um, so what is gymnastic? An objective today is uh, you have to tell us what gymnastic is, um, the types of gymnastics, who is a gymnast and the importance of gymnastics. Yep, so you should be able to wrap this up at the end of the lesson so you, you you're going to tell me what gymnastic is all about the types of gymnastic we have who is a gymnast and the importance of gymnastics so let's get to it so um, gymnastics is a sport in which athletes called gymnasts perform observe this word please athletes called gymnasts perform acrobatic feats the leap the flip, the turn, the handstands, and lots more. Yeah. So, it gymnastics, like we said, it is a sport with athletes that are called gymnasts. This is very important for us to wrap. They perform what acrobatic feats. Acrobatic feats. They try to do something that is acrobatic in nature. And that stuff, acrobatic, involves flipping leaping, turning, hand turn, and a lot more. So who is a gymnast? A gymnast is someone that what is an athlete that perform gymnastics, simply put. Now, in this, you can see what these guys are doing here. Um, girls, they are doing what they are performing gymnastics. This is what typically we call gymnastic. Flipping through pose, swinging through the uneven beam, and pose, and swing, hand working and all these are what we call gymnastics so on a piece of apparatus such as a they can do this on the balance beam uh -huh. or with a piece of apparatus like a rope or ribbon like what we are seeing here yeah they, they actually perform this in the olympics it's a sport all right so gymnastics is not just for fun it has its own benefits uh, if, if you should know of course you should um gymnastics is very important because it, one of the main reason the main importance of gymnastics Outside sports, outside athletics, is that it makes our body flexible. What did I say? It makes our body flexible. You cannot do all of this and be rigid and too strong. In fact, should I shock you? There's a particular space, there's a particular spectrum for gymnastics that is only allowed for female. Why? Because they tend to be flexible. All right. So sometimes we perform it with these and that. Okay. So we have moved now to the types of gymnastics. Um, we have artistic gymnastics. The most popularly or popular and widely practiced form of artistic gymnastics is divided into the women's and the men gymnastics. So there's a gymnastics for women. Look at what these ladies are doing. They are probably in their teens. Look at what you you look at them and you want like, wow, is this possible? Yes, it is. Yes, it is possible. So artistic gymnastic, okay. They, they, they do their, their acrobatic display on balance beam or, or on even bar, okay? These people, they can flip, they can swing, they can roll, they can turn on the pomelos. This is the pomelos also. So, number two, we have aerobic gymnastic. Now, for this type of gymnastic, this one is also known as a sport aerobic. What do I call it? Now, Aerobic gymnastics can be called sports aerobic. It involves performance of routines by individuals. Okay. It can also be done by pairs. It can be done by trials. That means three people can do it. Or it can be done by a group of people up to six. Sometimes individual can do aerobic. It can just be two. It can be three. Or it can be six people. That's what it means. One person can do it, and a group of persons can do it. This is it, an example of aerobic, where they have to dance and they begin to go flexible, and one person can do. Group can also do. Like here, we have group of people doing it. Can you see it? These guys are individual doing it, aerobic. All right. Now we move to rhythmic. Rhythmic gymnastics is the is the performance of various gymnastic moves and dance exercise to music. Wow, someone is already happy. 
and uh, because you like dancing, I know you like this one. I know, I know. So with or without various gymnastic apparatus, who cares? In rhythmic, you may not even need the pomelos. You may not need the uneven band, the balance beam, the pole. We just have to get into it, and all we need is to dance to music. Sometimes it is look. It looks like ballet in nature. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. So this is what I mean. Only women compete in the sports. Yep, I've told you earlier. Look at this. This just this sport is specifically for women, which combine the elements of ballet, yeah, and gymnastics in the performance of five separate routines, with the use of one or five apparatus. For example, you can use a ball, you can use a ribbon, you can use a hoop, you can use club, and you can use rope. So with or without these um, hard apparatus or equipment. We can go on on our redeeming activities. It doesn't stop us. This is this is a very typical example of it. You can see you can see here what they are doing. These are all redeeming activity. Beautiful. Wow. We have come to the end of our lesson today, and um, I'm very very sure you've understood all we have said. Um, I will quickly take my routine check on you. What is it? What is gymnastic? Can you tell me what it is? Uh huh. All right. Okay. Can you tell me the type of gymnastics so far we discussed? Mm -hmm. Nice try. Who is a gymnast? Brilliant. Can you tell me at least one importance of gymnastics? What is the importance of gymnastics? Good boy. Good girl. It makes our body to be what flexible. If you have one, have a wonderful time. I think I have also over well, the slide that's been wonderful and i really want to thank you because i know you're there listening to us i really want to say thank you very much for your time thank you for listening and from me to you i'd like to say bye bye whatever you do be safe and be fine keep your best up and thank you very much for listening